guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is a new month. Many consider the most romantic month of the year. I know I do. And because I love a good theme when it comes to my reading, I'm going to be focusing on primarily romance books. Or I should say romance is one of the main themes. These are not really romance books. They're all fantasy books, <laughs> but with a strong romance plot throughout. So I'm really excited to get into these. And if you like this kind of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more reading or writing related content in the future. And let's get started. So if you watch my December and January TBR video, then this was actually included in that one. And I said that it might cross over into my February TBR. So definitely check out that video if you want to see more details about this particular book. But it is an indie author. She actually sent this to me, which is really exciting. And it is The Secrets of Arch Innes by Jane B. Knight. And like I said, she sent me this autographed a copy. So it's about a princess with telepathy who has this forbidden and dangerous romance with a prince. There were dragons involved. And part of the reason why I wanted it to be one of the last books that I got to in January is because it has that romance edge, although it also seems to be filled with action and adventure and fantasy. As are most of these books, I've never gone into romance novels. The closest thing I've come to getting into um, romance as a genre is like smutty fan fiction, but for the most part, my favorite type of story is one that's generally fantastical, filled with adventure and action and romance as one of kind of the B plots. My favorite is when it's <laughs> kind of unspoken or forbidden. You as the reader aren't quite sure if there's something going on between these characters. Like that, that's my favorite. So next is something that I've talked about in a book haul and I've known since I got it way back in September that I was going to save it specifically for the month of February. And that is Alexa Dunn's Brightly Burning. Alexa Dunn is a author tuber. She's one of the biggest author tubers. I would implore any aspiring writer, especially one that is wanting to get into young adult and the traditional publishing route to seek out and watch Alexa Dunn's videos because she is a traditionally published author. She's just a wealth of knowledge. She has helped me tremendously. So when I saw her book, it's like, wow, she has provided me with so much free educational content for this industry that I wanna break into. The least I could do is buy her book. So this is her debut novel and it is very simply YA Jane Eyre in space. It is a retelling. I like Jane Eyre. I'm not obsessed with it, but I also haven't reread it in a long, 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 long time. And if you guys have followed my channel, then you know that I'm not a huge sci-fi person. Not against it. I definitely prefer more sci-fi fantasy than any hard sci-fi, which I think is more or less what this falls into. I mean, it's a very compelling concept, Jane Eyre in space. I am excited to actually read her work that I feel like I have known so much about. Um, and I feel like I know her voice so well, so it's going to be interesting reading that in print, seeing that on the page, seeing like, oh, do I hear Alexa through this? Do I hear her voice? Is it something different? It's gonna be a very, very interesting experience. I definitely am excited to vlog myself reading this book. It, it's one I've been highly anticipating for a while, really because I feel like I know Alexa so well. This next book is also one that I have mentioned in my accidental book haul recently, so I'm not gonna get too far into it, but that is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. This is a YA fantasy book that I just heard a lot of positive things about. I liked that it was a standalone. I heard that the romance is really cute and sweet, which is also part of the reason why I've saved it for February. It's one of those books that I just consistently kept hearing good things about. It's kind of hard to see because my ring light is causing too much of a glare, but this is one of my favorite covers that I've seen, at least in a recent fantasy book, except for the font. <laughs> That's a weird thing to get into, but the way they decided to do this tea 
Let's see if I can get up and show you. They swirl this tail here, and for a long time when I saw it online, I kept thinking the PH was making a f sound, so it was forns or pahorns. It took me a long time to realize that this was trying to be a T. I think that is the wackiest uh, font design that I have seen in a while, but the actual cover art I think is beautiful. So I don't know, it's kind of funny. So the next one, <laughs> I have also been saving for February. I am highly anticipating this read. These next two books, I feel like what I've chose thus far are kind of bigs. I'm not a particularly fast reader, so it takes me a minute to get through anything beyond 400 pages. That's just the way I am. These next ones might dip into March, which is fine. I choose the order of my books for a reason. And oh my goodness, this one. <laughs> okay, this is Winter Song by S.J. Jones. And Miss J. Jones also has a podcast called Pub Crawl. And so she is a published author, but also used to be a lit literary agent. And her best friend is also a literary agent. And so they have this publishing podcast, which I do think a lot of their episodes are worth listening to. They do have a hefty catalog. So if you just are s desperate to learn about the publishing industry, I mean, that is a good place to go for some knowledge. It, <laughs> they're an interesting bunch though. And SJ Jones has said some things that I think are wacky. I've known about Winter Song for several years because of this podcast. And it was also one that when I saw it, I was like, man, I gotta know. <laughs> I gotta know. And I'm never rooting against a book because if I'm investing so much time into reading something, I hope even if it's not perfect, that I'm at the bare minimum entertained. I think her story actually does kind of appeal to me because it's kind of sort of a retelling of the labyrinth or it is inspired by the labyrinth and the goblin king from that she's always talked about it being very gothic and lush and i'm like okay i like all those things i'll give it a shot maybe i'll be surprised and the the fiction writer S.J. Jones will just like really sing to my soul. I mean, I do hope that is the case, but <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm very curious to see how, how I actually like this one. And the last one, which I'm honestly not sure I'll be able to get to in the month of February, although I am trying to be ambitious with my reading and my reading goals. There is clearly a romantic undertone, but I would say this book out of all that I've shown leans the most action adventure. And that is The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. This is also one where I just, I picked it up almost solely because I thought the cover looked so cool. I clearly have a thing for very illustrative and stylized women on the cover of YA fantasy books, I guess. This one I've also talked about recently. It has to do with this girl who is set to marry King Arthur. Merlin the wizard set up their betrothal because she has some sort of magical power or gift and is set to protect him, but there's all these other obstacles that get away from her journey from to get to King Arthur. I've heard absolutely nothing about it. This is one that I'm like, oh, really itching to, to get my claws into. And generally not like anything I've really heard about before. That kind of does it for my February TVR list. It's a little ambitious, but I am really trying to amp up the amount of books that I get through in 2020. So I'm trying to really keep to these TBR lists and aggressively <laughs> read through these books. Make sure to check out my weekly reading and writing vlogs because I do show you what I'm reading each week and my thoughts about it along the way that I think are kind of fun. I am super excited to get to all these books and feel the love and the romance. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.